Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem name is find polygon with largest parameter. So as you can see that you are given an array of positive integers nums of length n. As you can see here, you are given n lengths. And a polygon is a closed plane figure that has at least three sides. So you have to actually form a polygon. And the polygon definition is that it, it should have at least three sides. And the longest side of a polygon is smaller than the sum of all its other sides. So whatever sides you'll choose to form a polygon that have at least three sides, the sum of all the sides that are smaller than the largest side, the sum of all of them should be greater than the largest side. Okay, don't worry, I'll show you some examples. You just have to find out, find out the parameter, the sum of all the sides of the polygon that you have to form. And you have to just maximize the parameter size. Uh, then the overall thing is that if you just print out the parameter size, if it is not possible to form a polygon using all these sites, print out minus one. That's the overall problem statement. Now, uh, let's take some example, the first one only. So let's see that. So let's take the pen and let's see that the sides are five, five, and five. Now, what you can see here is that if you sort them, because I have to find out the largest side, so it's better to sort the whole array. And after sorting, it will become the same. Now, if I take all these three sides and form a polygon, what you can see here is that the sum of all the smaller sides should be greater than the sum of the largest side. And that exactly forms the condition. So the overall thing is that all of them can form a particular polygon. And if it can form polygon, the parameter is the sum of all these sites, which is 15, so answer is 15. So pretty much simple here. Let's move on to the next example. Okay, let's see here. What's the problem with this? If we have five, five, and 50 as the sites, we have to ensure that the sum of all the smaller sites should be larger than the maximum size. That is not here. So that cannot form a possible polygon. From here, let's take this as an example here as well. The larger one, but let's take an example. So we have one. I also sort them. Okay. So one, one, then it is one, one, then two and three. So two and three. Then it has five. Then it has 12. It has 50. Okay, now what you can see here is that one of the possible ways is that I can take the largest one like this as the largest side and sum out all the other sides. Now you can see here is that it is still pretty much small because it is 12, then 17, 18, 19, 20, then 24. 24 is the sum of all the other sides and this is 50. If I take the complete all the sides as polygon that is not able to form a particular polygon like possible polygon why because the sum of the smaller sides is less than the largest side that you have to eventually have to take so what is the other possible way that's the other possible way is okay don't take this in the possible polygon that you have to form we can still make a polygon by taking the next largest one that is this one as the largest side and now if I take this as the largest side, what I have to ensure that the sum of all the other ones should be larger than this side. So this is 5 plus 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is also not possible. Why? Because if I take this, as I've told you, it should be strictly greater. The sum of all the sides should be strictly greater than the largest side, like the largest side. That is also not possible. So I cannot take this as well as the uh, the side in the polygon. Let's take this as in the polygon. The sum of all the other elements, this is 7. So 7 is greater than 5. That is perfectly fine. So this, all these sides can particularly form a polygon. And in this scenario, the total sum of all of them is 12. So answer is 12 here. I hope you understand the overall problem statement and how we are actually doing it. I actually showed you here as well that you can just first sort out all the elements and then keep taking example that if this is the longest side of the polygon I'm taking, then we just have to ensure that the sum of all the other sides, okay, I have to be larger. 
if it has to be larger, why not just take all the sides? Okay, we don't have to like optimize it anywhere. We just have to find out the sum of all the sides smaller than this side. Then after that, as you can see here, that if it is the sum of all these elements on the right hand side of the element I have taken is larger, then the answer is okay, fine. We can take all these sides as a polygon. If not, then what will actually have to do? That we have to take the next larger and find out the sum of all the other sides. So that's the whole thing that you have to do here. Nothing much complicated here itself. You can just draw out some example always and find out some possible solution. Let's move on to the code part now. So uh, we have sorted it here. As you can see here, the whole array. Now what we have to do here is that we have to find out whatever is the largest one. So if I just put it here again, one, one, two, three, five, well, and 30, sorry, 50. We have to find out the sum of all the elements to the right of it. You can use it prefix sum as well here. Whatever you want, prefix sum can also be used here. So you can find out the sum till every element. And if you take this, find out the prefix sum till this and like check it out. You can also do that. What you can also do is that you can find out the sum of all the elements first. Now, if you take this as the element, then the sum of the element minus this element is the rest of the sums that you can also do. So that's what I've done. I've find out the sum of all the elements. Now, if I'm taking out and I'm moving from, you can say right to left. If I'm taking the this ith element as the maximum size, then the sum of the other elements is total minus this current element. And if this current element is greater than that, this total minus numbers of i, because total is the total sum minus because of taking this as the sum, I have to exclude it from the other sum, the, the sum of the smaller sides. So if this total sum is greater than strictly greater than the maximum size that I have, that I'm on the side I am on that I'm taking to be the maximum side. If the total sum is greater than the maximum side, then return the total total is the total sum of all the elements because I have taken the total sum and you can just print out that. If not, if I'm not taking that, then the total has decreased by this number. So decrease the total by this number. So it's simple much. You can use prefix sums as well, whatever you like. They have like multiple solutions to that. You just have to ensure that you just have to take the current element and find out the sum of the elements to the, like you can say, left side of it, all the elements to the left side of it, and just ensure that this condition pulls through. In the end, if you find an answer, return the total parameter. If not, if you're going through all of that, if, and if you still not find out any answer, print out minus one. That's it. That's a complete logic in the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box for this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Till the keep coding and bye.